What's in this room again? Hmm. I haven't been to this hideout in a while. I never really finished the Egg Citadel. The name had a nice ring to it, but I never finished it. I was busy building the Death Egg and working on taking the Chaos Emeralds from Sonic. But this place is still in pretty good condition. I made it after all. It's been such a long time. A distant memory almost. Still, better look around here. Maybe I'll find some ideas that I haven't finished. It's basically a glorified storeroom. Nothing but parts and incompleted items. I must have just decided to use this place as a warehouse of some sorts, instead of the great citadel, the great fortress it was meant to be. Perhaps I felt no need once I built the egg fleet. A mobile fortress is much more practical, especially when you have unlimited fuel supply, like I can create. Wait a minute. What's that over there? Oh. I remember you. Oh, you poor thing. You've been here all alone this entire time. I never finished using the Egg Citadel. It's on my to-do list. But I remember you. It was around three in the morning. And I was in a bit of a mood. I was a little bit depressed. And I just started improvising. I started creating a new robot to take down Sonic. And I must have just been tired and fell asleep. Hmm. But I never finished making you. So. There is yet life to be brought into you. I feel it's only appropriate to finish my work. So, tell you what. I'm going to install a personality module. Done. Now, you're going to operate under a simple procedure. Something I haven't done before. To apologize for taking so long in creating you and leaving you alone in this abandoned fortress. I can only apologize. I should do better. It must have been a dark time in my career. Perhaps it was after the Death Egg was destroyed. I was quite upset about that one. Still, once you start something, you must finish it. You will operate on a simple question and answer procedure. I'm going to ask you something. And I'm going to help you form your personality. As soon as I ask you a question, answer it. Truthfully, no judgment. I want to create a robot with its own individual personality for once. So, first of all, from your basic frame, there is no apparent visual aesthetic to yourself just yet. So, I'm going to help you design yourself. First of all, what color of robot would you like to be? Hmm, interesting. I'll do that right now. You know, even though you haven't been completely born yet, this takes me back to old times when I was a much younger doctor. You see, I became a doctor, a scientific genius, because of my grandfather. I won't go into family history just yet. But I idolized him. I wanted to be a great man just like him. 
Perhaps somewhere along the way, I forgot the simple joys of creating something that can bring joy to someone. Perhaps that shall be you. So, what do you think? A beautiful color, isn't it? Now, make any request and I shall grant it. I am the great Dr. Eggman. I have many, many skills at my disposal. You're going to be my personal friend and help me take down Sonic and his friends. So, there's a variety of powers I can bestow upon my robot friends. What do you personally think your power should be? I could give you speed, like Metal Sonic. Metal Sonic can actually go faster than Sonic himself. Although he's a little bit rebellious, let's not go that far. I once created Mecha Knuckles, but I don't know what happened to him. He only showed around once. My memory isn't what it used to be. And I made Tails doll. What did he do again? Hmm, I don't recall. Maybe I should stop writing this stuff down so I remember. I've made so many robots over the years. Perhaps if I let you decide your individual personality, appearance, and powers, I'll remember you more likely. Now, feel free. What powers would you like to have? Speed, flight, invincibility. Control the elements. Allow your creative mind to form and tell me, what do you feel like you should be? Hmm. You're definitely one of my creations. What a brilliant and astute observation. Perhaps I'm learning something from you as opposed to you learning from me. Now, tell me something, my friend. As I work upon installing these updates and attachments, I have so many servants in the Eggman Empire. The Robotnik Revolution, if you will. I have many enemies, primarily Sonic the Hedgehog. Miles Tails Prower, Knuckles the Echidna. I kind of have a 50-50 thing with Shadow the Hedgehog. Sometimes he's a friend, sometimes he's a foe. Rouge the Bat. And Omega, he definitely hates me. But it's a large rogue gallery I have. Given your appearance, your powers... I feel like you should, you should focus on taking on a single opponent just to get us started. So, who do you feel like you could take on the easiest? Hmm, I see. We'll have to finalize this form and see what I can do about getting you out there on the battlefield. Once again, I must apologize for leaving you here like this. Even an evil genius, a mastermind, can fall at moments. But it's not about falling, you must understand. It's about getting back up. And you, I can tell, will be a marvelous creation. You'll be one of my great allies. You'll be with me at the very end, when the Eggman Empire rules over everything. Now, stand up and walk towards me. Good. I'm so proud of you. Oh, and by the way, let's keep... Keep that little detail about my grandfather, just between you and me. Perhaps I should make more intimate moments between myself and a singular robot. 
Perhaps I'll create something greater than anything I've ever made before. And perhaps a personal connection. Hmm. You have a question, my creation. Go on. Feel free. It's the least I can do for leaving you here. Why did I tell you about my grandfather, Professor Gerald? Well, you see, perhaps I can only open up to my robots because my robots don't have an agenda. I know I can trust my robots. But maybe it's because I have a deep longing for a form of friendship. And I just, I just can't trust humans. Not after what happened to Maria and Gerald. I, I just can't do it. I can't trust them. They trusted humanity. And look where it got them. But I'll get our revenge. I'll help humanity by conquering it. And you're going to be one of my many friends who emerges from the ruins of humanity. An usher in a new Eggman empire. I feel having this intimate one-to-one -one conversation with you. Perhaps this could be the start of something. A friendship. Rather than just creating you for the purpose of destroying Sonic. I truly got to experience your creation, your birth. As organic as it could be for you being a robot. You formed your own personality. You chose your design, your powers, your appearance. You just happen to be my friend now. I didn't design you. I didn't control you. You simply obey me and listen. Like a perfect friend should. Yes. Perhaps you're going to be different from Omega or Metal Sonic. I could see you being there at the very end, by my side, as I sit on my throne room, Sonic and friends defeated. And you, my loyal friend at my side, as we conquer the universe. I like the sound of that. Don't you, friend? Now, come, walk with me. I think I'm going to take you to the Death Egg Free, my ultimate fortress. Sonic and Tails don't know about it yet, but I have many plans in store for them, and perhaps you can help me carry them out. This is going to be the start of a beautiful friendship. All hail the Eggman Empire. Thank you very much for watching this video. I just decided to mess around a little bit with the Dr. Robotnik character and make a fun little role play scenario just off the top of my head. I hope it's something that you all managed to enjoy in some way. Perhaps it relaxed you. Perhaps it entertained you. Either way, I hope it brought something positive into your life. Just a fun little chilled out video. But hey, that's not the only one there's going to be. So, if you have any suggestions for videos I could create in the future, I'm very open-minded to ideas and suggestions. Where do you think Robotnik's gonna go in the next episode of this little series? Is this gonna be just a fun little relaxing one-off series? Are we going to meet the rest of the Sonic characters? Or is this all just one wild path 
to an alternate universe where Neo Eggman conquers everything. I don't know. Where do you think this series is going to go? Perhaps you, the viewer, could contribute to this series and play a deciding factor in where this story is going to go. I'm very open-minded to your comments and suggestions. I have a few ideas of where this series is going to go, but maybe you can be part of it as well. Not just as a viewer, of which I am very grateful to have around. Thank you for watching. If you like this content, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. It will be greatly appreciated and helps boost visibility for us to make even more friends. And if you like this content, to please consider checking out my main channel, where I have a variety of content ranging from full ASMR playthroughs of games, role plays, and unboxings done in an ASMR format. I aim to have something a little bit for everyone. A little spice of life. But, most of all, I want everyone entertained, chilled out, relaxed, and having a good time. So, regardless of what you decide to do, have a good day, my friend. No matter who you are, or where you are. Take care of yourself. Thank you very much for your time. And adios, my friend.